Hi there! If you're into 3D printing, I'm sure that you will have come across one of its most popular materials, PLA. But maybe you've also become aware of one of its latest variants, PLA+. But what are the stand-up features of its one, and how do we choose between them? Let's find out by looking at its technical and aesthetical properties, ease of print and cost. Number 1 technical properties. These aren't something that polylactic acid or PLA is known for. Its thermal resistance is not excessively high, it can only withstand temperatures of up to 50 degrees, and it does not have a great mechanical resistance either, only resistant impact or stresses of 3 kJ meter square. Its young modulus is almost 2500 megapascals, but its elongation at break is only 5%. All in all, it's a very rigid material. PLA Plus, on the other hand, is a bit different. Here at bcn 3 d we market it as tough PLA. The reason for this is in the name. Technically speaking, its capabilities are notably superior to those of common PLA. It has a somewhat higher thermal resistance, being able to withstand temperatures of up to 70 degrees. Its mechanical resistance is considerably better than that of PLA, being able to withstand impacts of up to 22 kJ meter square. It is almost 8 times more resistant than normal PLA. Its young modulus is slightly higher than PLA, but its elongation at break is almost 20%, making it a much less rigid material. Up next, aesthetical properties. This can be a little bit more difficult to compare as it is more subjective. Depending exclusively on taste and the applications that the model is going to be used for, and ignoring its technical properties, we can choose between one of them. In this case, if we compare PLA Plus with normal PLA, aesthetically speaking, the main difference between both of them is the matte finish that PLA Plus has versus the shinier finish of normal PLA. It is true that by varying temperature of normal PLA, you can achieve different textures and finishes much more similar to the PLA Plus ones. However, these changes could make it more difficult to print with this material. Within our own bcn 3 d range, another of the advantages that PLA has over PLA Plus is the diversity of colors. PLA Plus only has four possible colors, white, black, blue and red, while its brother has a much wider range, being able to print colors such as green, yellow, orange or even gold. Remember that this will differ depending on your supply. Finally, in terms of printability of these two materials, both are generally quite easy to print. It is true that PLA requires a somewhat lower printing temperature than PLA Plus, so it could be argued that PLA Plus is somewhat more expensive to print. However, taking into account that this temperature is still low, that it does not give off any other, does not need a special adhesive, can be printed at room temperature and without a closet environment, and does not require a very elaborate or excessively powerful printing system, it could be said that these two materials are among the easiest to print within what is FTM 3D printing of polymers. Finally, if we talk about cost of printing, these two materials have very similar prices. In the case of PCM 3D filaments, PLA is priced at around 25 euros for a spool of 750 grams, which translates into a cost per gram of just over 3 cents. A spool of 750 grams of PLA Plus, on the other hand, is priced at around 30 euros, which means that every gram of this material costs more or less 4 cents, which is slightly more than PLA. Both materials are therefore equally accessible. It should not be overlooked, however, that each filament brand and supplier sets its own prices and this can vary from one manufacturer to another. However, PLA is usually one of the cheapest materials in the FDM 3D printing market. So folks, we can say that both of these materials stand out for their accessibility, affordability and ease of print. While PLA offers more options in things like colors, finishes and prices, PLA Plus is superior in terms of mechanical and technical properties. If you want to learn more about 3D printing materials, don't forget to check our website. See you next time!